I'd say the most important thing is to step in. I think it may go against your uh, intuition and gut uh, to ask for more and to ask for different opportunities at work, but it's really the people that step in um, to the opportunity that over time get recognized, that over time get the attention, that over time um, get developed. So I think that it's, it's really important and, and it's kind of counter sometimes to more of a humble uh, sort of person and the humility that we might have in, in a lot of the people that work in DBS. I think being able to step in and you know, really seek out opportunity is very important. I think having a longer term view, really thinking about relationships and how important they are and your personal brand identity, your own brand of leadership. I think um, this more thoughtful um, way to approach things, more of a time horizon that's longer could really help the West a lot. I think in the West we're just uh, full on all the time. Um, we're expected to move very fast without thinking and almost going through things automatically. And I think one of the things from the East is just this quiet reflection, this time to stand back from the edge and look and think and then to do. I think that's a critical thing that uh, the West could benefit from, from the East. We're asking leaders to do the most difficult thing and that's to give their time and their attention. And I think using a case methodology where the leaders really come and share their important stories is critical. And people have to understand uh, who they're following. And I think uh, having our leaders really come into the classroom to share their challenges gives our followers actually a sense of their authentic selves, what they're really concerned about, and more importantly, how the people that they're developing can be part of the solution. So I think, uh, you know, using the case method uh, within the construct of what we're doing to develop talents at DBS is critically important for people to understand and form genuine relationships and also to problem solve. Well, I think the biggest change is having a stable leadership at the top. I think the other thing is um, having a vision and business strategy that's working. And uh, nothing really breeds success like success. And so I think really about uh, being you know, known in the market, having good uh, performance as an organization, and having everybody believe that what they're doing is important and that important work is getting translated into the results is probably the biggest change. And I think that's the most important thing is that we continue to be successful, you know, continue to develop leaders so that when we're less successful, and there will be times as there are in every cycle, we'll be resilient enough to get through the low spots and reach new highs in the future. That, uh, that's kind of a tough one because it really is uh, comfortable to live here and uh, it's very easy to live here. And I think uh, most Singaporeans would feel the same and it's really, um, you know, it's quite a stretch to think of going and living someplace that uh, is going to be a hardship, especially if you have to take your family along. So the only advice I could say is, uh, you know, the markets are out there, the growth is out there, the opportunity is out there. Again, uh, being able to step into and step up to uh, that opportunity is uh, the only advice I, I can offer, but I, I totally get uh, wanting to stay here and uh, how it's comfortable.